We are now only a few months away from finally being able to play the sequel to The Forest. Sons of the Forest was originally revealed in late 2019 but has been played with delay after delay ever since and now it's projected to be released sometime in February. But according to Steam, we still don't have an official day release which worries me slightly. Are we going to get another delay or will it finally come out? Let's take a look at everything we know and why the hype is becoming real. The first game took the world by storm in 2014 for its very well made survival aspect and creepy atmosphere. It was everything a survival should be, so there's every reason for people to get excited about End Night Games' sequel, Sons of the Forest. So what is the sequel about? Sons of the Forest is a direct sequel to the first and you will be playing as a child from the first game called Timmy. If you haven't played the first game, then that might be a slight spoiler. This game will follow a similar theme, being on an island full of cannibals and you will have to survive. In the trailer, it shows the helicopter crashing, so I only assume this will be how the game starts. We know the visuals are going to be on another level, as shown in the trailer, and I really hope they'll be this good on release. There's going to be crafting, next level base building, a brand new map to explore freely, new enemies to experience. I do hope the cannibals and mutants are just as good as the forest were. By seeing them in the trailer, I can only imagine how fun it's going to be interacting with them. The trailer shows crafting a wall, but being able to shape the way the logs look. This makes me feel like they have improved the overall crafting and building quite a lot. It also shows splitting logs in half, which already gives me great ideas for my base. Let's talk about the building and what is already confirmed by End Knight. We have log cabins, zip lines, custom building, windows, skim racks, stick fences, weapon holders and a brand new one, electric structures like solar panels for tools. We can see some of this in the trailer, but with a lot more customization about it. The weapons are also an interesting one. In the trailer we've seen walkie talkies, a lighter, some sort of remote control, night vision goggles and a GPS tool. The interesting one being able to use a 3D printer to create a cannibal mask. So maybe we'll be able to blend in with the cannibals when equipped. We also have the shovel that you can dig holes with, create traps and find entrances to caves with. An interview with Sons of the Forest developers have said that they've included some sort of AI project called Veil into the game which wasn't originally meant to happen, but they thought it would work well. This makes me incredibly excited to see what they do. The interactions with the cannibals could be very fun. They also confirm that enemies will become tired, angry, hungry, thirsty and bored, which can influence their decisions. Let's talk about the strange lady. We have a strange lady in the trailer, later confirmed to be called Virginia. You'll be able to interact with her, however, you like or just completely ignore her. Apparently she doesn't give you missions so this will definitely be interesting to explore when the game arrives to see what you can actually do. Can you have physical relationships with her or is she just there to talk to? We'll soon find out. The last thing I'd like to discuss is VR. I've done my first playthrough on the original game of VR. It's a completely different game and for me it made the already creepy game 10 times creepier which was real fun. There hasn't been anything official mentioned in VR, but I'd like to say it will be added after the game comes out. I can only hope we get it. As for now, that's everything we know. Let's hope we get the game in February. For me, I think it's going to be a great game and will live up to the hype surrounding it. But will it top the first one? We will have to wait and see. Thanks for watching and see you next time.